the president here, JFK, was a big proponent of making sure that the Americans got there first. You could say he was the reason we're all here to begin with. Watch carefully. He lets the film play as you see JFK is shot. The footage is grainy, but you can see it clearly the figure that he pointed out as being JFK is shot in the head. All familiar, I'm sure, from history. JFK was said to be assassinated by uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, but there was a sort of discrepancy, a, a curiosity about the trajectory of the bullet. He rewinds it and plays it again. You see, they believe that the bullet traveled along a trajectory which wouldn't have made sense. Uh, the theory was called the magic bullet. It was a conspiracy for quite some time. Of course, in this film, you can only see kind of blurry details, but in another angle, which was for a long time off limits. The uh, footage switches to a different perspective. You can see over here, right in this corner, he points to sort of, yeah, a grassy knoll. There's a figure, one believed to be the true assassin. We've enhanced this footage, blown it up, enhanced it again, and then run simulations to try and fill in the blanks with a artificial intelligence. And we believe we have the identity of that assassin. Uh, the camera closes in, spins around weirdly because it's like a simulation, a recreation of the information. The assassin looks like this. Oh. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd say that looks like an alien. What the hell? All of you in the room are welcome to know this. Aliens were the original inhabitants of this moon. They tried to discourage mankind from settling upon it. Whatever they were doing up here, we'll never know. But the point is, when JFK had the audacity to try and send humans to the moon, this extraterrestrial assassin decided to put an end to his life. The original trip to the moon itself was highly classified. There were no survivors. Body doubles were used for the crew as they returned. And footage was simulated in a movie studio. I believe Stanley Kubrick directed it. What I'm saying is the history of the moon is complicated and aliens are involved. Her eyes widen. So it's interesting that you say aliens were responsible for all of this. When we've actually met them, the lights come back up. Marisol nods. Or rather, Lewis met one, unfortunately. Nearly killed him. Do you really honestly believe that we were going to buy the story that aliens were responsible for all this when we've been dealing with them, keeping tabs on them, communicating with them at times? They're running cults, please. I don't know what it is that you're covering up for, but I have the distinct feeling it isn't the Seven Nation Army either. I don't understand what's so hard to believe that there's some sort of influence that they've had on people. Deep influence. I'll let you in on a little secret. I can see the clarity of your thoughts. She looks a little scared at that. Right now, they look fairly muddled. Of course, I can't tell lies or anything like that. Uh, can't see them, but I can see when a person is dealing with too many things at once or trying to bring out too many thoughts when it's too complicated. Technically, in a way, it's like I can see into someone's heart, sort of. Well, can you see into mine? Yes, of course. Did I need aliens? Mia bleeds really hard at him. It, she, she met aliens. It doesn't really work like that, but I do believe you. Uh -huh. Officially, Halloween Jack. Everything you've heard is supposed to be classified, but I'm sure your government is already aware. Halloween Jack actually puts his glass down, clears his throat, folds his hands behind his back. We are... Uh, Somewhat aware of this situation, Jeff nods. Aliens are moving in. Whatever it is that their plans have culminated in, or whatever it is that they're planning to do, it seems we're reaching the next stage of those plans. Your group, he points to the survivors, have been involved in quite a few of the events over the past few weeks, months. So it seems that you are involved, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, for that matter. So in this instance, I will not provoke a war. I will thank the ambassador from Earth for his time. And we will file this away as being yet another mystery of who really was responsible. To be clear, 
I don't believe it was aliens. And I believe a lot of strange things. I believed in Santa Claus until I was 12. Really. But your story? Bit hard to swallow. What if we brought you an alien body? Yeah, but I don't want to kill them. I do. What? what? I believe my friend when she said she got abducted. I see. So you do want to kill them. Well, <laughs> you know, I kind of want to kill them too. I really do. I think. After what they did to Lewis, I think I want to kill them a lot. Where does that leave us then? As allies? Maybe for the moment, right? For the moment. Halloween Jack, you're an ally as well, are you not? If aliens are threatening the human race, surely the delegate from Earth, the ambassador, would be interested in assisting. Well, I, what are you roping me into here? <clears throat> I, um, I don't know much about Martians or... Um, those little gray fellas with the big heads and the weird black eyes. Apparently they're Are you not asking me to... from the moon. Oh, I see. Well, that all makes sense then. I think I'll be having another one of these. He walks away with his glass. Uh, he picks it up, just, just kind of walks off to go find another refill. <laughs> the man uh, with the long black hair actually taps his um, forehead. That gem, that diamond in the center of it. You all have done so many amazing things in the time since I, last I saw you. It's it's quite astonishing, I think. You, you can tell what amazing things we've done? Yeah. Yes, of course. I am the person in charge of the repeater network, so I keep tabs. She looks a little creeped out by that. She's peering at the crystal on his forehead and wondering if he also can look into her mind somewhat. Uh, me, me, I asked if you're the one she points directly at him. It's like, are you the one with my town? Oh no, that's Jeff. What? Jeff actually kind of ominously takes a Moby out of his coat. Because he crushed the other one? Yeah, the second one. And then begins to type in a message. Uh, you can actually see the tweet go out to Nova Notices. Uh, it says, the ELO is great. Please buy, buy all their products. He types this all out without even looking down at the screen. <laughs> what God, happens if, dork. What if Mia reaches over and takes the phone from him? What happens? If you try to reach over, he'll just, he'll just hold it away <laughs> like a bully. Stop shilling using my name to shill stuff. <laughs> Marisol pulls her friend back. Hey. But she can very easily do that. Mia's on wheels. She just gets rolled right back. It was useful at the time. Besides, you were sending out a lot of misinformation that was going to panic people. So I figured why not use it for something good and productive. Can you just delete it? No, I don't think so. Too <laughs> valuable. After all, you spend so much time building up your brand and your name. And boy, it'd be a shame for it to just all go to waste. It doesn't even Especially ghosts anymore. It's true. You know, you really should keep uh, your reputation in mind, Miss Nova. You are the only Nova now, really, that has a reputation at all. He puts away the Moby. Yeah, wrinkles her nose. Well, I'm not the one that lost my reputation or my morality. No, you're not. But last I heard, your parents were retiring under pretty pretty quick circumstances really hasty really yeah, hasty they should have retired long ago well i guess it's all in the past now i'll be keeping this repeater account yeah yeah crosses her arms and shouts <laughs> jeff just thinks about something he's gonna <laughs> post later and seems to smirk regardless We'll be in touch with your group. There are certain things that probably need to be said and prepared for. I think the aliens are going to make their move pretty quickly here. And I would love it, honestly, just love it, if it was something that only the ELO had to handle. But in this matter, it seems that your, your group is, how do I put this? Like a speed bump. Nothing can be smooth. Sometimes I think it would be easier if you were to all just disappear. He just kind of hangs on that thought for a moment. And Marisol's fist clenches and she looks nervously in Lewis's direction. Lewis just shakes his head. It's fine, Jeff. We, we do need their help. If it wasn't for Marisol, I'd probably, you know, not be here. 
and um i don't know i kind of like being here and i think you kind of like me being here so like you should probably like thank her and the rest of them for like what they've done instead of like making like weird threats and stuff and like making them feel weird i mean i don't know they're just just throwing it out there man jeff clenches his jaw for a moment you're right you're right lewis thank you marisol from earth for healing lewis she blushes a little and does a slight head bow kev actually speaks up <clears throat> and also if it wasn't for them i'd probably i, I i'd probably have had been in a worse position i suppose when i was stabbed because i was helping them it's a mixed bag on that one not gonna lie she's wincing rich actually speaks up uh also <laughs> If it wasn't for them, things might have gone a little bit worse during the Germanata thing. I won't lie. I was reading the network, so I think um, I think they've been a net positive, actually, Jeff. I, I want to say, just looking back on everything. Kelly, what do you think? Kelly actually looks up from her Moby. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, whatever. She goes back to looking at her Moby. Yeah, well, you have, uh, you have her approval. Jeff kind of feels... Or he, he seems like the odd man out here because the uh, the rest of the ELO doesn't seem to be having a problem with this. So he just says, all right, can't argue with my board. For now, we'll consider you to be on good terms with us. For now. How's that sound to everybody? Her relief is obvious. That's ideal. There is the matter, however, of the missing delegates who I guess would be difficult to prove that they were even here to begin with. Even though we have footage and logs, turn them over anytime, Jeffy. Jeff shakes his head. I'd like to know where the where those missing people might be. It would be helpful. If they are where I think they are, it could be a problem. Jackie, Halloween Jack just kind of shrugs, takes another drink. I don't know. Um, you know, medical logs, it seems that they got the, was it the, he looks back at the group of survivors, trots, or, yeah, there's trots, and uh, they're just that, you know, the people that you think that may or may not be here, they're also a medical leave, but they are. Of course, I will provide all the paperwork to prove that, as well as doctor's records and such. Um, so, but we're at a bit of a standstill. You can either acknowledge the area where they are and accuse me of something, or we can see about helping you with them god dang aliens <laughs> oh boy i can't wait till they take out their little ray guns and kidnap your women and such that'll be fun you got a little hula hoop outfits on and they probably go beep beep boop boop actually they, they got like rainbow colors and like a black suit and like red hair and they can knock you out in a karate chop oh that sounds delightful uh they seem to have a food source too or Plug. yeah and they can and put your fingers in your brain. Fingers in your brain. Did they put fingers in your brain, Miss Nova? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did they at least buy you dinner first? No. Well, this, this, he offered me the slug. Oh, what a gentleman. Unbelievable. Jeff, you have quite the circus up here. I have to admit, I come from Earth where it is a bit chaotic, but I never expected the moon would have so many. Hmm, I don't know novelties and um curiosities it was quite quite strange bizarre i'd say jeff just kind of like shakes his head i just want to kill the aliens and be done with this and you for that matter we have a lot on our plates so i'm sure your group also has quite a bit to digest after this info dump as it were she's nodding trying to be respectful very good now you're free to leave at any time, but we will be meeting again, and soon. Yeah, that won't be a problem. Would you like any ELO-branded merchandise before you go? No, we're good! Okay, Actually, we have... I, yes. I'd like something. Okay, what would you like? A t-shirt, a hat, a mug? No, Marisol, don't sell out! Uh, my friend seems to think it's a bad idea, but thanks for the offer. Oh, that's weird. He takes his Moby out again. She's talking about how cool our merchandise looks right now. 
I'll take a mug. Solid choice. One mug. Uh, Rich, could you get her a mug? Rich actually stands still for a moment, and then a second Rich walks into the room with a mug in his hand. Her eyes widen. 